lost, aren't we, you miserable idiot? Read a map, I said, but oh no, Russell knows best. You don't know anything. And now, because you screwed up again, I'm going to be late for my sister's party. It's bad enough we had to drag this stupid trailer. I wanted to stay in a hotel, but we can't. And do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because you don't make enough money. What the hell are you doing that for? You ever get how to drive? Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, so now you're gonna drive off a cliff? Big man, Russell finally takes a stand. A day late and a dollar short if you ask me. So this is it then? Well, don't think for a minute you're not gonna hear about this in the afterlife. Your signal's on, moron. What are you gonna do, turn? Oh, what, we're in a plane now? Surprise, surprise, you can't even kill yourself right. God almighty, do I have to smack you one? Hello, can you go? Well, now you know. The family drive to canoe who's down the next stop street drop will tear. There's no escape, that's bad luck, so settle in. You're stuck. In Crash Canyon. Have a spasm makes no difference to the castle. Raise the back! You live in a crash! Crash Canyon! It's the Canyon Cup Final! Imagine the winning team's thrill when they take home this stack of hubcaps and mannequin parts. I'm gonna take away that rock like I took away your computer privileges after you failed math. And I'm gonna go around you like I did by borrowing a friend's laptop. <sighs> Give it to me or you're grounded! We are stuck in a canyon. My whole life is grounded. That's for eating my husband. <laughs> and that's for being a lousy slave. Stay down. You get up and I'll beat you like I did lung cancer. <laughs> Sheila, Sheila has the rock, rock and, and is, is approaching, approaching the goal, goal like a soccer, soccer player, player approaching, approaching the, the soccer, soccer goal. goal. Oh, great analogy. Thank you. I choose to believe you are being sincere. Great choice. Sorry, Mom. Looks like you lost the puck. I bet your temper's next. My gravy! <laughs> Unsportsmanlike conduct. Boy, is there anything better than citing and enforcing rules? I'll get the puck. <laughs> What's wrong, honey? Did you step in something? If she did, I was just marking my territory. I think I might have also marked my pants a little bit. say I'm sorry, but in the morning light, a space helmet looks a lot like a urinal. No, it doesn't. Um, this is about the moose. What he did today wasn't nice. I'm sorry I have to say that, but it wasn't. That moose had big, ugly teeth and horrible breath. 
Like a guy I once stalked for a year. Uh, I know his schedule so well. I know. When you survive something scary like that, you gotta tattoo yourself to remember. It wasn't all bad. Since the game didn't end, I don't have to pay off any bets. Oh, it ended all right. I scored the winning goal. I was also the MVP and two out of the three stars. You can't win after we all left. Your victory is a sham. Out of respect for your mother, I'm gonna ignore that. We can fight amongst ourselves later. Right now, we need to focus our anger towards that animal. Yeah, I say we steal its girlfriend and burn down its clubhouse. Or vice versa. Wait, we're talking about getting angry at an animal that has no anger towards us. We need to remember, we're merely visitors in this environment, not rulers of it. Don't defend the moose, Wendell. We need to hunt it down and take it out, like a negative comment on a personnel file. <laughs> Wait! What if instead of hurting it, we just make sure it stays away? We could set up patrols, some sort of neighborhood watch. We could even have armbands! I have two arms, but no bands. A most embarrassing inequity. I have shamed my family! I suppose it might be fun setting up a perimeter. It usually is. So it's agreed, we'll do it! Hooray, doing things is the best! What was that? Maybe it's the moose. If we find it, we'll be heroes. And like all heroes, we'll give lame speeches to corporations for tons of cash. Sell out! ka -ching. Dad? Are you scared? Yes, I am. But I'm not embarrassed. Fear is just nature's way of telling us not to do something. That's why I don't wear baseball caps backwards or grow sideburns. Nature tells me not to. Okay, well, scared or not, we have to go check this out. Come on! Can't I just grow sideburns instead? Elvis ones, banker mutton chops, whatever you want. Oh, crap! Woo! That was a surprise. <laughs> He probably doesn't even know about me winning the hockey game. Maybe because you didn't. Green isn't your color, dear. He's like an adult boy. Or a grown-up teenager. Yeah, or a still-living dead guy. Russell? Is that you? Oh, crap. It is you. I thought you were dead. I thought this fat idiot ate you. Yeah, well, it's, uh, well, it's kind of a long story. I'm not going anywhere. None of us are. <sighs> right. It happened the day I got to the last chore in the chore jar. I thought before I started, I'd get some honey. You see, at my age, you gotta watch your blood sugar like you would an ex-con employee. <laughs> uh, no offense. None taken. It's just sad that a few rotten apples ruin it for the rest of us. I was stickier than a well-licked postage stamp. So I thought I'd take a quick bath in the river. But when I came back, the bear was there, eating my clothes! So I, uh, I went to find some leaves to cover my nakedness, and I, well, I guess I just got lost. <laughs> but now that I'm back, it's sure great to see you again, honey. Yeah. Okay, butt breath. Since my husband's back, you're off the hook. Get out of here! Well, you still got chores to do, and I'm one of them. It's nasty time. I don't even want to think about what they're doing to create that noise. Me neither, but my brain is forcing me to. Imagining all kinds of scenarios and situations. 
Oh, brain! Why do you hate me so? What must I do to make you stop? No, you don't. Is it safe? See? Aren't you glad we didn't throw those tires out? This attack is on you. Instead of attacking, we tried patrolling. And then the moose came at us while you were on patrol. Makes me wonder whose side you're even on. For all we know, you're a double agent working for the moose. I'm not any type of agent. My wife. She used to be a real estate agent. Before I became a champion. Asterisk. Pathetic. Meow! Meow! I'm thirsty. <sighs> Better take a drink. Hey, Jake, want to spend some time together today? Being a pariah has really freed up my schedule. That's the good part of being hated no one talks about. Go suck a flower, you commie coward! I'm sorry. I'll talk to him about his language. Although, his bad manners do not excuse your bad behavior. Know that, too. So, Jake, are we gonna hang out? I hope I said that right. Sorry. I'm afraid I'm busy today. First Roxy leaves the table, then Jake. I'd be worried if it was my cooking, but... I have other accomplishments. Is something bothering you, son? From how bothered you're acting, I'm getting the sense that something's bothering you. The whole canyon thinks you're a coward. Well, they're right. I am. I told you I was. Evolution has trained me to be. It's science at work. If that's true, science sucks. <gasps> you don't mean that. You're just angry, that's all. Science has given us so much. Medicines, safer food, rocket ships, phones that people don't use as phones. Even plastic surgery. Your left side needs a little tightening. If you're waiting for a thank you, coward, you're not getting one. Don't thank me! Thank science! Okay, everyone. Now that we've been attacked for a second time, I've taken us to frowny face level. This is the last step before sulky face. I hope we don't get there. <laughs> there never would have been a second attack if it wasn't for Wendell introducing this diversion. Help me. Now we need to act. Consequently, I'm forming a crack fighting unit. We're fighting Moose, and we're fighting to avenge our fallen car doors. And garden gnomes that will never live to gnome another garden. Because, fellow canyon dwellers, there's a predator amongst us. One even worse than Earl. Man, I've done bad things. Real bad. Like, uh, I'm sorry to the world bad. Our enemy is out there, just waiting to kill us. <gasps> but we both hope to get remarried before we die. So I'm gonna get that moose and kill it first. Now who's with me? Will it be time-consuming? Very. Then count me in. Mandelbelt men never run from a fight. Count Bjorn in. I've been seven T's. Make it eight! There's no way that Sid Butane is gonna outbid me. I'm joining too. This is one Wendell that's not afraid. Maybe the only one. I don't know that we need to declare war. There's a scientific explanation for what's happened. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine, count me in. I can't wait to get that moose and rip his head off like... Like that. Uh, hey, what did I ever do to you? He's talking with his body, like a deaf hula dancer or a mute mime. Okay. Need more mayo. Battle star. Underpants. Shh! We've located the enemy. Now it's time to take him out. Dad, maybe you should do it. Me? 
I can never hurt an animal. That's how that lizard ended up laying its babies in me, remember? But this could be your chance to prove you're not afraid anymore. To yourself, to me, and anyone else that doubts it. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll do it. I'll throw up. Down, Dad. It's, it's throw down. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Uh, uh, listen, my son is being teased and has put me in a bit of a difficult position. Now, I know you're not violent, but... <laughs> uh, oh. You probably did that because you're scared, so I'm going to be the bigger mammal and forgive you. You're limping. There's a stick in your hoof. That must be why he's been so aggressive. Forget your theories, Wendell. We came here for bloodshed. Finish the job. He has to be helped, not murdered. These sounds just like my defense lawyer. Now, if you'll just stay still and not crush my skull. Now he sounds like my parole officer. I can't believe it. The moose has turned from lion to lamb. All other parties have remained the same. I guess we owe you one of them, I'm sorry. Yeah, your dad's not a wimp. He knows stuff. Brain stuff. Yeah, I guess he does. Just to show we mean no harm, we should probably drop our weapons. Nice work, Wendell. We lost a man. Now I have to tell his parents their son won't be coming home. That poor family, have they not suffered enough? I'm pretty sure his parents are dead. I honestly thought it was the thorn in his paw. You believe me, right, Jake? You said you were going to be tough, and then you weren't. I was proud of you, and now I'm not. I can handle being embarrassed. I can handle getting kicked so hard my nipple inverts, even if all three of them invert. But I can't handle my son thinking I'm a liar. Moose, you just got the wrong pacifist mad! Arrgh! This is what horses do! Don't you know anything about moose? I think it's called a river. Is that Wendell finally fighting like a man? Or at least like a drunk woman outside a nightclub? Do what my mum used to do. Punch him in the face. Gouge his eye. <laughs> now, have you had enough or do you want some more? Please say you've had enough. Oh, that's what this is about. You're trying to impress your son. I know what that's like. Okay, I'll help you out. Well, at least I helped one father make his son proud. Leave him alone, Antler Face! Jake! You came to rescue me! And only five minutes too late! After you charged the moose, I realized not only did you do something for me, you gave up something you believed in to do it! Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Oh my! Come on! Dad, if this ends the way I think it will, I'm gonna be proud to be in heaven with you. That means a lot, son. Oh, I'm gonna win the cup again. I'm a dynasty in the making. It's not happening, Mom. Like me friending you on Facebook. <gasps> it's the guys. They're back, but I, I don't see your father. <gasps> or Jake. Ooh, maybe he died. I could wear that great black dress to his funeral. Is Norm okay? Please, please say yes. Dating as a single mother would be hard enough, but when you throw the whole canyon thing into it... I don't know the status of your husband, but I will tell you he showed a lot of bravery. Last we saw him, he was beating that moose handily and footily. <laughs> Sorry, now's not the time for jokes. Was that one? Unfortunately, ma'am, we did have one casualty. Your husband. 
On behalf of a grateful canyon, I present this flag. a baseball game sucks compared to kicking a baby moose in the crotch. hi -ya! No babies for you. I need a bath and someone who has the same blood type as me. Oh. Well, since everyone's okay, seems like we can finish the game. Yeah! I won! There's no way! That's... that's cheating! I know. I learned from the best. I won! That's right, because I'm pretty and Mom's old. Fun time's over, Farwad. You've got ironing to do. Second in triple thoughts about this plan. Climbing into a burning car does not sound good. It sounds bad. I told you, we need the hot air to lift the car and us up out of this hellhole. Besides, the fire's in the front. We'll be in the back. Fire is like gossip. It spreads quickly. Oh, <laughs> fine. We'll wear seat belts. Ah, hey, the smoke means it's working! <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna rock it a bit to get us going! What was that? Who knows? Lots of things pop. Champagne, zits, lots of things. We didn't make it. You knew we never would. I wanted popcorn, but I didn't want to carry the wood. 